recommend your upright coal frame is securely fixed to a suitable base. The ideal solution is a single brick course as shown, for which we can provide a base plan giving detailed construction dimensions. If you are siting the coal frame against a wall, fence or other structure, you must first ensure this is plumb by using a spirit level. This will ensure the base is positioned correctly with a 55mm minimum spacing from the wall or fence. If the wall or fence leans into the site, this 55mm dimension will need to be adjusted to suit. This gap is to ensure there is a space between the structure and any wall or fence to allow airflow behind the structure. The coal frame is freestanding and is designed to be fixed through the base only. Using the dimensions given on the base plan, mark out the footing area. The footing should be 210mm wide by 100mm deep minimum. This may need to be deeper depending on your local ground conditions. Dig out your footings to the required depth. The soil on this footing is heavy clay so the sides of the footing hold up well. On sandy or loamy soil the sides might collapse and you may need to use timber shuttering to form the footing. Check the footing is the correct depth and the base is level to ensure a consistent concrete depth, making any adjustments as necessary. Once the footing is prepared you can mix your concrete. For our conditions we are mixing one part cement to five parts ballast, which is a sand and gravel mix. Fill the footing trench with concrete and using a spirit level or timber straight edge, tamp the concrete to level the footing. When happy the footing is level, leave the concrete to set. To construct the brick plinth, a good quality solid brick should be used not bricks with holes or frogs. A mortar mix of three parts building sand to one part cement is recommended to bond the bricks to the footing. Using the base plan dimensions set the first brick to the correct distance from any wall, fence or structure. Lay the first brick square and level. Using a tape measure set the second brick positioned and again lay this square and level. Check the two bricks are level to each other, then run in the remaining bricks on the front row. Repeat the process for the other sides, checking the bricks are flat and level as you go. Keep checking the bricks are laid to the dimensions on the base plan and that they are all flat and level. Not forgetting that the base should be 55mm minimum away from any wall, fence or structure. Once you have laid all the bricks, check the base is square by measuring across the diagonals of the outside face of the brickwork with a steel tape. These measurements should be equal. Check the base is level one last time and once happy you can do the final pointing of the brickwork, then leave it to set. The centre of the brick plinth can be left to soil to grow crops in. But in this example we are laying a weed suppressing membrane and covering this with a gravel. This will allow spilt water to be filtered away through the gravel and into the ground below. The base is now complete and ready to mount your upright coal frame.